So as you've probably noticed, I grow a lot of squash. I'm gonna go through one of my favorite recipes to use up a decent amount of it. Um, because after three days of not cooking any squash, I have quite a bit. So let's go ahead and use some of this up. For this recipe, I'm going to be making a very, very simple squash casserole. And I will be using predominantly the long squash, uh, the zucchinis, the yellow crook neck, because they are going to suit this dish better shape-wise than the patty pans or lemon squash or the eight ball squash. And yes, that was only three days worth of harvest. Okay, so while you are chopping up your squash, uh, you wanna set your oven to 350, let that preheat. Uh, in this case, it would be very, very helpful to have a mandolin. You want to be slicing the squash uh, about a quarter inch thick, um, and they need to be uniform. If they're not uniform, you're gonna have um, issues where some slices will cook faster than others, um, whereas others might not cook enough and be soggy. So you're just gonna go ahead and slice up um, uh, roughly two pounds of squash, I would say. Um, again, you can adjust the ratios on this recipe to your needs, um, make them bigger or smaller. But two pounds is a good starting point to use up a decent amount of squash. In case you were unaware, these two are squash connoisseurs and need to sample, make sure everything is of the best quality. Okay, bye, Nola. Oh yeah, you know, if you stick around, you'll get another. Enjoy. Nero, you don't eat squash. Now I'm gonna be using a lot more squash than two pounds just because I have a lot to use up, but I will kind of give measurements for the roughly two pound um, mark so you have something to kind of start off up, start off with, and then experiment from there. Next, you're gonna wanna lay out your squash and salt it. Uh, adding a little bit of salt will draw out the extra moisture. So when you cook it, you won't have a soggy, sloppy mess. Um, you'll let this sit for about 10 minutes, uh, and then you will take a paper towel and just blot the extra moisture off. If you don't do this, because squash has such a high water content as it cooks, um, that'll just all seep out and cause your, your casserole just be a sloppy, squishy, wet, soggy mess. I'm just going to go ahead and continue laying out all my squash and then salt it. Uh, if you're using two pounds of squash, it would be about a half a teaspoon of salt um, to draw out that moisture. Well, it looks like I get to have a show while prepping my dinner. As you can see, I have a lot of squash. You probably won't be using this much squash, um, but I have a lot to use up, so I'm making a big batch. Uh, and at this point, you're just gonna use about a half a teaspoon of salt and just sprinkle evenly all over your slices. And then let that sit for about 10 minutes.
Now that your salt has set for 10 minutes, go ahead and just blot off the excess moisture uh, that that salt drew out from your squash. Now, if you were using roughly two pounds of squash, you would be doing this in a nine by nine dish uh, baking pan. Um, obviously, I'm using more, so I'm using a bigger pan. Now, you're just gonna go ahead and line various squash up. I like to alternate colors because it's pretty. Um, in nice little rows in your baking dish. All right, after you have it all laid out, you're going to drizzle with olive oil, <clears throat> about two and a half tablespoons, or wing it like I do. And then salt and pepper to taste. And then in a bowl, you're going to want to combine <clears throat> one third cup of Parmesan cheese grated, one third cup of plain panko breadcrumbs, and <clears throat> a um, garlic powder, about a quarter to a teaspoon. Mix it all together really well. And then we're just going to sprinkle it over our squash. Once you're done sprinkling your mixture, you're gonna want to cover with tin foil and bake at 350 for 30 minutes. Don't mind my dirty oven, but after the 30 minutes is up, you're going to remove the foil, turn it up to a high broil, and return it to the oven for five to seven minutes until that crumb coating on top is a nice golden brown. After taking it out uh, to remove the foil, popping it back in on broil to crisp up the topping, it is done. Now you can store any leftovers in the fridge uh, and just heat them back up in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350. And that is one way you can use up some extra squash. Sorry I'm not a fancy cooking show but it's a nice easy recipe that doesn't take hours and uses up a lot of that extra so it doesn't go to waste. Thanks for watching. Until next time.